Neil, we've got a new model here from DMG Mori. Firstly, for our audience, tell us what the model is. OK, it's our new DMU 53rd generation. What are some of the differences? Let's, let's start with the speed of the machine. OK, with, well, with the second generation was the, was the machine before this one, this being the third generation. So now the speed of the machine has now gone to 42 metres from 30 metres. And also, that's the rapid speeds, but we can also feed at those as well. And while we are talking speed, we'll mention the spindle. The spindle is now 15,000 RPM, as standard, was 14,000 before, but we've gone from a, a direct drive spindle before, now to a motor spindle. For, again, for our audience, what, what's the difference between those two, Neil? OK, a motor spindle is a cartridge with the motor built in it. So as the motor spins, it's connected directly to the spindle reception. With a, a direct drive spindle is where you have a mechanical interface to a coupling to a motor. So you have two separate units to the motor. A motor spindle is one unit. And what, what's the benefit of one over the other? Uh, the, what's better about what we've got here? OK, now you get a much more responsive spindle. So for um, change of spindle speed is, is instant. Uh, and you need this also for rigid tapping. It's a more powerful spindle and it's because it's direct straight to the cutting point instead of going through a coupling. You, you mentioned about the speed of the rapids. Is, is it, it's more about acceleration, isn't it? Yes, and also, yeah, th this, um, it is faster on acceleration, but also if you have to rapid over a certain period, you, you'll also gain a lot of time with that as well. What, what about the working envelope then? Because I know uh, the look and feel of the machine is very different as well on this third generation. But what about the, uh, the overall size and, and capacity? Yeah, OK, and what we've done with the, with the third generation, we've made it a fair bit bigger. Um, we've gone from 500 millimetres in the x-axis to now to 650 millimetres in the x-axis. In the y-axis, we've gone from 400 to 450. And in the z-axis, we've gone from 400 millimetres to 475. So as you can see, it's quite an improvement on size. With the uh, extensive range of machines that DMG Mori offer, is this not starting to encroach on some of the other models? Is there any, any crossover on the what was the next machine up in size? No, it hasn't, because we've been really careful with that, because uh, it's a good point what you say, um, uh, because we produce so many five-axis machines. But we've been very careful on how we've selected it so we don't compete with ourselves in this. So what we, in effect, what we've done is the next machine model up from the DMU 50 was the DMU 70. Now, we don't make a DMU 70 anymore with simultaneous machining. What we do is we do a CMX 70, which is um, from our entry level machines, which is positional only. When you go to the next level with our range with simultaneous machining, we then go into the monoblock, which is the next size up. So no, there's no encroachment now. So it, there is, it is a perfect fit in amongst the others. It is, and it is for our own sake because otherwise, we say we compete with ourselves. You mentioned the machine being faster. If a machine is faster, it maybe needs to offer a little bit more stability. Is there any differences in the way this is built? Yeah, there is. Really, is um, before uh, the machine was made from polymer concrete base, which is, which is great, you know, that has its own properties as well. But what we've done is we've now moved to a cast iron base um, and the, 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 the weight before was 4.5 tonnes. Now this is 7.9 tonnes, so you can see uh, this gives the machine a lot more rigidity. Um, and, and, it's a lot, uh, and it's a lot stronger base to build the machine on. It's nearly twice the weight. I was also looking at the, the way the table moves there as well. What's the, um, the extent of the axis movement? Yeah, so the B-axis, we went from minus 5 to uh, 110 degrees. Now we go from minus 35 to 110. So um, you can see we've got a 30 degree greater movement. While we're talking about the table as well, um, if I can just mention this, fully simultaneous is standard. In fact, all the points that we've gone through so far are all standard on this machine. Um, so it's now fully simultaneous, and we don't use worm and wheel, worm wheel technology like a lot of our competitors. We use planetary drive. So I won't go into the details, but if you look at planetary drive, it's a much more reliable system, and it's a system for life. Do any others use that similar concept, or is that pretty unique to DMG Mori? 
Um, not that I know of, it's pretty unique to us. A lot of our competitors, as I say, use worm and worm wheel, which is very old technology, and also it's quite heavy when it comes down to maintenance. You have to have someone look at it every couple of months if the machines are used regularly. You pride yourselves here on many things, including the speed which we've touched on, but also accuracy of uh, finished component. Does this machine therefore have direct measuring on it, or linear scales as some might know it called, cool, know them as cool? Yes, it does. The machine comes with uh, direct scales as standard. Uh, direct scales in X, Y and Z and also direct measuring on the rotary axis as well. While we're on that subject, we also fit direct drive IT1 ball screws. Uh, so these are the, the best class ball screws fitted to this machine and we guarantee the machine in a stable temperature environment to 6 micron accuracy. Pre pretty tight tolerances that can be achieved then. Let's, uh it's kind of like go, c concluding this on things like the tool changer and uh, maybe options that are available with a machine has come standard because the, the picture I'm building in my head at the moment this is far from an entry level machine would that be right? Yeah it's not an entry level machine no um, as I say beforehand we were with uh, we, we, we produced the machine with a 14,000 direct in line spindle now it's a motor spindle with 15,000 rpm but it doesn't stop there we go from 15,000 we go to 20,000 we go to 24,000. I think also as options we can go faster. 30 tools, automatic tool changer as standard. Then we go to 60 tools as an option and we go to 120 tools. So you can see, you know, with 120 tools you can produce most parts that will fit in the range of the machine. What's it running on, an SK40 or is it a BT40? This is SK40, but we can fit it with HSK63, we can fit it with BT40, we can fit it with Cat40, we can fit any tool reception you need, but the majority now I would say was HSK. There's an automation cell that's been added to this machine on one of your uh, brochures over there. Yes. Is, is that part of your, your mission as well, to bring people into an environment where this can kind of run lights out? Yeah, but we need to now because we're finding more and more customers in the UK are now moving towards automation. Um, so this machine, we, we fit our own automation systems. Uh, we do pallet systems with our PH150. We also integrate to other types of, um, like, such as Lang systems. Uh, we also fit Eroa systems. And the automation comes straight through the side door as well. So it's very easy. All we do is when the machine is ordered, we fit an option, uh, which is automation interface, automatic door, So and then the, the pallet system can communicate with the control for pallet management. Finally, how new is this model and the control, those two points? Okay, this machine uh, is around about six months old. It was introduced uh, in February, so no, it's a little bit less really. So, But also, the control is, as you can see from this, is fitted with Celos, which is, most of our machines are now, which is becoming, Celos is becoming very popular. But we also fit the machine with Hyde 9 as well, Hyde 9 640. So they come with high-end controls. They're not entry-level controls because it's not an entry-level machine. So it's a Siemens 840D solution line or TNC, Hyde 9 TNC 640. Being a product manager, how, how much easier does it make your life when looking at achieving sales targets to have a tool like this in your box? It makes it a lot easier because, it, well, as you say, it ticks all the boxes. So. This now has all the options really as standard as what customers fit, so, as customers want. So it's been designed to fit in for customers' needs.